Welcome. In front of me is the Oppo Reno3 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. So to get started, let's pull down the notification panel, go to the second page and you should find somewhere right here, personal hotspot, it's right here. At least that's where it is for me. Uh, your location may vary a bit, so just look for it anywhere on this notification panel. It should be somewhere in here. And from there, before you actually toggle it on, you will need to uh, hold the option. Uh, tap on OK if it pops with anything. Uh, so we go into here to check the password and also change it if you want to. So you have here personal hotspot settings. Let's tap on that. Tap on the password and either remember it or in my opinion it's easier just to change it It'd be nice if i could delete that but there we go so let's change it to something maybe easier to remember i know this is really easy uh, might not be the best choice but you can set it up to whatever you want as long as it has eight characters in length and from there you also have the AP band, which can change it to 5 GHz, assuming your device can support it. Um, the device that you would want to connect uh, with it uh, to the Wi-Fi. Uh, if you set up the network right now, uh, for instance you have the 5 GHz enabled, um, you tap on for instance save and bam you enable it here. And you go to your phone and you don't see that network there uh, with the name of uh, hard reset. That means that at the moment uh, your device, the one that you are trying to connect with is uh, not supporting 5 gigahertz that usually happens if your device is a little bit dated the newer ones a majority of them supports 5 gigahertz but if it doesn't go back here drop it to 2.4 uh, 5 is better uh, faster and uh, in, in terms of comparing it to the uh, 2.4 so that's why i advise it to go to 5 but if your device doesn't support it you don't really have much choice here you'll have to drop it to 2.4 and then visible to other devices, obviously, um, this will be easier for you to connect to it. If you disabled it, uh, you would actually have to then add it manually. So as an example, I'm going to go to my uh, phone just to so I can show what I mean by that. Uh, let me bring up the brightness. Um, so when you go to Wi-Fi like this, you would actually have to tap on add network in this case and type in the exact name and then password for it, which is just massive inconvenience. That's why I advise to keep that on. Assuming if you have a password, it's just way better way. Um, so then once everything is set, tap on save and you're all set. If you leave this place from here, you can now toggle the Wi-Fi hotspot on and off at your will. You don't need to change anything more as long as you remember the password. So that is how you would set up the personal hotspot. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.